Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> That's awesome. We're going to be checking out another texture pack. Yeah, we're checking out the Coterie Craft. It was a suggestion by one of you guys, one of the YouTube viewers. Thank you very much. Coterie Craft. It is uh, kind of labeled as the Minecraft's new D for our... Uh, the create, yeah, nice, nice, and nice. Uh, the creator, Captain Corn, kind of is um, calling it Minecraft's new default. So it looks kind of like it's a 16 by 16 pack. Ah, and we got the cool little blue uh, 16 by 16 pack. And look at that nice little dapper Steve. Jump on me again. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's cool. Uh, and also, I read a few credits there. There's a guy named Ganlold who. He's apparently an admin. I don't know if he's done any, uh, maybe it's a she, whatever. Ganlold has done any art for this pack, but I uh, wanted to credit them if they did. And look at the hot bar. Very hot. Nice. It's, it's like, it's, even though it's a 16, it's more uh, shaded. And it reminds me a little bit of Painterly. Um, uh, Captain Corn says he used. Originally a pack called Quandary by Extra Noise, so there's a few textures left in that, and uh, I, I'm not, there might be more. But anyway, this is my own personal texture pack test map. You can download it. Always looking for suggestions. This is where we like to check out awesome uh, texture pack art, and we're going to the quick equip room, and we are going to check out some of the armor for the Coder Craft. Uh, here we go. Let's... Uh, yeah, look at that cool little piratey. Arr, pirate, pirate pack. I should, uh, I should check out a pirate. If you know a pirate texture pack, let me know. There's the chain or the checkerboard armor. Okay, let's check out the leather. That's very. It's kind of like old school hockey or something. All right, and the gold set and <laughs> very interesting on the helmet there. Uh, I think the armor might be the um, the quander, quandary, but I'm not sure. Whoa, look at that diamond. Right in the face there. A big fat iron nose in the face. Okay, and then the iron set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not sure which one I like the best. Um, what do you think? Maybe I kind of like that helmet in the gold. Let's, yeah. Let's do the gold. Uh, usually gold is kind of kingly, but in this pack it's completely different. Anyway, let's check out the health, hunger, and the uh, armor and the XP bar down there. We have, uh, it looks like the hunger's default. The hearts look a little different. I'm not sure about the XP part and the uh, XP bar and the armor bar there is definitely different. Very cool. Uh, I can't remember if I said this, but this was suggested by one of you guys, so keep them up. I think I did say that. Um, here's the all the biomes room. I'm not going to go in there. We don't really need to anymore, but when you download the map, you can check it out. Any texture pack. Check out that crosshair. That's cool. Particles, GUIs, otherwise known as backgrounds, biome samples, and fireworks. And the biome samples are just a few of the main biomes. Check this little teleport out. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> By the way, I said this before, but I stole that little thing completely from an awesome adventure map called Paranoia. It's a little older, but it still works. Yeah, I suggest you try it out. Really fun. One of my first ones I ever played. Here's the dripping lava with a bit of lag and the dripping water. And I'm thinking those are default, but I can't tell. Look at those little rockets there. Very cool. They look like uh, farmer silos. And we can check the precipitation here because we have the tega and the jungle. So we got snow and rain. Snow is looking default. Rain, I can't quite tell. I think it, it's actually, I'm pretty sure that's not default because it looks like it's multicolored. It's hard to see. It's probably hard to see on YouTube, but uh, yeah, it's nice little. I I think this is pretty sharp for a default. It's not going to overly, uh, um, uh, soul, soul sand there. It's not going to uh, bug you if you don't like uh, crazy... Ah, nice! Nice blue, easy to read there. Mr. White looking good. He keeps wanting to get out of there. I'm not going to let him. You know, it's for you guys. I make sacrifices. I trap people for you. It's a nice guy I am. 
So these are all the backgrounds. I think I was saying, oh, red and blue. Very interesting. Hmm. And Spencer and Dropper. But, uh, oh, and the Beacon's missing. Huh. Enchantment table. Brewing stand. I really like that blue to the red. Very interesting. And our command block. Okay. Now, oh. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so and look at that. The glass kind of shears through like that. Very cool, very cool. Let's check out the uh, the end, the end sky, the end sun, whatever it is. I don't know if it's called the sun or not. Now it looks, it looks, it looks default to me. Let's check out the sky here. That's looking the same. Okay, let's check out the moon. And yes, that is looking pretty default to me. Now let's go uh, here and uh, here are the enchantment particles and. Look what a so oh nice sword. Yeah, we definitely have a different background there. That's cool. This is the uh, newest section here. It just, you just stand on it and it pops up a sword so you can see what it looks like when you go to enchant it. Okay, here's some portal effects for the uh, not port not the game portal, but an an, an a um, nether portal. Okay, let's check out the brewing. Oh yeah, I like that. I really like this pack. That's really nice uh, for a def change of default. Haven't seen it before, so there's our growing effects. Notes. Now they... I can't tell what those are. Here's our XP thingies, and there's, there's, there's an orb there. So yeah, very close to default. Slightly different, I believe. Torch looking nice. Mm -hmm. And our redstone dust and our other redstone torches. There's our beam. And uh, what do we got? Smelting. Okay, so we can... Uh, that fire and look at that. Nice. Very nice. Take it out for you guys. Uh, Chase the fire. Yeah, I like that color of fire. Yeah, he's right. It is, it is like a new default. So the explosion effect. And you can see this here. This is MC Patcher does this. Makes uh, all the blocks kind of make one... Uh, one stretched sheet across, I guess. I'm not, I'm not really sure how to describe it. In my words. Anyway, let's check out the uh, fireworks here. We got the small ball. Oh, nice. Star. Now, somebody just let me know if it's possible to actually change the shapes with fireworks. I appreciate all your work in art, texture pack artists, but I... Oh, wow. Nice. Look, I got to do that one again. I really like... Ooh, I love that one. Um, what was I saying? I don't... The fireworks are really nice in this pack. Uh, I don't really know how... <laughs> it's weird. How how do you make a texture pack? Like, I, I have an idea. Like, I've looked at the files and everything, but... Can you actually change the shape of uh, firework? Because that'd be really cool. Here's our wooden doors. Nice. It is painterly-ish. Okay, we are going to go check out... Well, I guess first we'll look at what we want to do. I could see this pack look really nice with any adventure map. Like, especially a uh, medieval one sort of thing. Ooh. Wow. Hmm. I like that gold sword with the red. Let's see. Turn that off. I guess I like I like really like the gold in this pack. <laughs> I don't know why. It looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna uh, also uh, let's see here. I gotta figure out something because I want to make it so that we can fire arrows in this uh, in this texture pack test. That's gonna be my next goal on here because we kind of want to see what the animation looks like. But we want to make sure we don't hit the hit the item frames. There's our, uh, these are, these are inventory items here, some stuff that isn't really blocks. One sec. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, the, the, it's, it's definitely really unique to this style, but it's got, it's really shaded, you know? Very shaded. Uh, I really like that, I really like that, okay. 
can't check everything. We just don't have enough time. Uh, I don't want to go too long, take too much of your time. But thanks for watching. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this bef uh, in this video yet, but uh, in my own personal texture pack test map that we're in, I do separate everything into sort of rooms. So that last one was our inventory items. You saw some of the other things. Here's the art gallery. And I absolutely love when the art gets changed. And look at this. Yes, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. He puts... He puts part of it in something else. Oh man, and they got a wood frame. He's whoa, he's got him flipped around. Who's that guy? Oh man, that is so cool. <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> oh yeah, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I like the art. I really like this pack. You know, it. I mean, I love detailed stuff, but you do not have to be a, like a 512 by 512 uh, pack to grab somebody's attention. I think this looks great. Um, yeah. It just it just depends if it if it suits my taste. Then I will say yes, I like it. And uh, I mean, it's pretty hard not to have me appreciate your guys' art or the or the texture pack artist's art. This is our farming plant. Uh, plants and growing thingies, not you know, whatever. Uh, all the four types of trees are here in the biomes, birch and jungle. Now the jungle one looks kind of odd. It's uh, I was, it was I, you know, that color is kind of weird to me. But that's cool. It's cool. You know, that's the choice of the artist. I don't have a problem with it. Sugar cane, very nice. Oh, and that lava is very uh, bright. Very bright. Stationary moving, falling, and the fire. I can definitely uh, see this replacing the uh, default pack. Although, you know, I still I use default more than anything because I just uh, have a soft. I have a soft uh, spot in my heart for default, and of course I love faithful because it is pretty much default, but. Um, higher quality. Look at the cocoa bean that lights up like that. Beautiful. But this one is really, really, really nice for uh, keeping the default and uh, being more shaded and more more, more detailed almost. And it's got a lot more contrast in it. That's what I'm trying to see. Definitely has uh, default-ness to it. And stationary water. Okay. Let us head over into the building blocks um, and check out. Yeah, there's our wool. Okay. Oh, let's go to the redstone room first. I forgot. I usually go there first, don't I? So there's uh, everything in our redstone room, and you can uh, activate it. It's a nice thing. Lamp on and off. Um, let's check out the. Uh, yeah. And just in case you didn't know, redstone repeaters have particle effects and comparators or comparators do not. Little, little known fact in uh, Minecraft trivia. I got tons of useless information. <laughs> uh, well, pretty much anything Minecraft is not useless. It's always useful. But, uh, oh, this is the redstone block of redstone. Very cool. Minecarts. It looks like everything is has been updated to me. But not a lot of... Uh, I don't really see any uh, moving animations. And I don't know if... I'm not, yeah, I wouldn't know. Um, I, I, I shouldn't speak. I don't know much about making a texture pack. Maybe one day I'll make one. <laughs> It'd be cool if I could... Like, I've done a map. And uh, lots of uh, appreciat appreciation of your guys' art. But... Maybe one day I'll kind of venture into all aspects of Minecraft, make a make a texture pack, make a mod. I think that'd be a good lifetime goal. <laughs> okay, so here's our building blocks room. This is what I kind of messed up before. This is where we're heading now. And uh, this is sort of the bulk of it. This is what the look is going to be like. Everything is labeled. So when you download this map, if you choose to, uh, you can walk around and see the texture from all sides and the top. Oh, nice. 
got nice green on top of that pumpkin. And uh, yeah, that's that's the nice thing. About, uh, here we have our kick. Our kick. Now, um, <laughs> I made a huge mistake in one texture pack, and I said, "Oh, that should be the uh, portal kick." And apparently, it was. And man, I'm like, I, I, I have a bad memory for. Uh, I, I guess I was thinking it looked like something else. Here's the new blocks that aren't in this because we're in the 1.5.2 because there aren't any new blocks for this pack. But I wanted to show you our. Steve, who had a nice little dapper shirt, um, but yeah, I I have a bad memory with with uh, certain things, <laughs> especially like video game like like older ones that I remember I loved them, but uh, I'm like, well, what was your favorite part? I don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what it was about, but I remember I loved it. I had a great time. Uh Anyway, so, and there's the block of coal it's supposed to go there. Really like that redstone, block of redstone. Very cool. Okay, and, uh, so, it's got, oh, it's got like a, it, it's got like a shading, and it has little pixelies there. I really do like this pack. I gotta say. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I do like everybody's pack, but, uh, I definitely like this one. Okay, so this is our uh, mobs here. We have every mob in the game. Even our little friend Eddie at the end, the Ender Dragon. Uh, that's the uh, villagers' pigs. Oh, so we got some uh, different types of pigs. Nice. And we got some crazy looking cow. Different types of cows, yes. Uh, mushroom. I'm going to. You know. Should I launch another mushroom? I only have one type of mushroom, right? I don't know. You can answer that question in the comments. Ocelot, yes. Kitty cats. Okay, what do we got? We got wolves. I wonder why the wolves keep disappearing. Okay. Doggies. Hello, boy. I just told him uh, a very funny story between us. It's an inside joke. Different types of chickens. Okay, and then uh, our squid... Which kind of look default. Not sure. I don't know what work has been... Because I think the uh, the Planet Minecraft website said it was like 90... There's our Iron Gall. They uh, said it was like 75% complete, but it looks like there's a... I don't really see anything that's not complete. But he also had a RPG version of this map. And... Uh, Maybe that's something else you'd you'd be interested in. I wanted to do this version. So here's our Ender Dragon and Eddie. I don't know if you're any different. Okay, Eddie. Well, see you later. We'll see you next time. Oh, but look at the uh, I like the red up there on the life bar. Okay, now we're gonna check out the Wither. This is uh, here we go. And you do this, and then you just put your little, yeah. So yeah, definitely a different looking wither. That's very, very interesting with the, oh, oh, now he's getting angry. Oh yeah, now that's a real, red and black is really a, really a dark looking contrast between them. Check out the wither skeletons. Hey boys. And they they even look red and black to me. All right, I love looking at the mobs. I just I love people people's different take on the mobs. Here's our ghast. He looks like an old man ghast. Oh, Sonny, when I was your age, I used to spit fire, but now my mouth is all dried up. I guess that would be better for fire, wouldn't it? Whoa, what are you upset about? Yeah. Okay, anyway. Oh! Silver fish! And our zombie pigmen. Yeah. Um, pretty sure everything has a higher contrast in this bat. Now, see with that? I'm not sure about the blazes. Sometimes I have a hard time, uh... The glass kind of shoots off in a big, uh... A big one sheet sort of thing. Instead of being... Paste it into blocks. That's cool. 
I think that's one of the biggest complaints, although I don't mind it, but about Minecraft uh, glass texture is is that um, a lot of people don't like to see the streaks, so a lot of texture packs don't have the streaks on it. But, yeah, it doesn't bother me, but I I really like defaults, so, <laughs> so uh, I've grown accustomed to it. Yeah, different shaded creeper, very cool. And our skeleton. Hello, boys. Come on. Bring it on. Yeah, you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. Oh, that's... Those bows look weird. Okay, and then the witches. Hello, witchies. Come on. Come after me. Oh, I see you got a weapon out. Yeah, you're too afraid to use it. Okay. Well, that was our Coterie Craft Pack. Bye, Captain Corn. And possibly others. Uh, obviously, I will leave the links in the description. Let's check out the dude. Yeah. I really like that sword. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, anyway. So, thanks so much for watching. Let's, as a final here, we'll check out the background. Look at Even shaded there. Made by Notch. Nice. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching so much. If you like it, I'll leave all the links in the description to get the map or the pack. See you next time. Enjoy your Minecrafting. Have a great day.